Cardinal Dolan is off to Rome tonight for this weekend's historic canonization of two popes. The soon-to-be Saint John Paul II is still fresh in our memories. But what about John the 23rd? CBS 2's Tony Aiello is following the rise to sainthood, and he joins us now live from the Vatican. Hi, Tony. Hey, Christine Maurice. Tonight, St. Peter's Square is being prepped for Sunday's big canonization ceremony. Portraits of the two new saints hanging in places of honor behind the altar. There on the right, John the 23rd, born Angelo Roncalli. He died 51 years ago, but his memory lives on for millions who admired his spirit and his sanctity. Rome built upon layers of history, has never seen anything quite like this. The historic canonization of two popes. While much of the focus is on John Paul II, Italians are particularly excited about sainthood for the man they remember as Il Papa Buono, the good pope. He was so lovab lovable, he was so roly-poly. Cardinal Dolan was just a teenager, but he recalls his father's reaction when Pope John died. I can remember uh, seeing him choke up when John the 23rd died in June of 1963. He was beloved for his humor, his humanity, and for bringing the papacy closer to the people. Few people recall that uh, John the 23rd was the man that started parish visits, hospital visits, nursing home visits. I met him three times. I lived in Rome during his entire pontificate. I did admire the humanness of him. When John took office, many thought he would be a caretaker pope. He shocked the world when he called the Second Vatican Council to review and renew church doctrine. The Second Vatican Council oriented the Catholic Church towards the modern world in a different way. The Mass was uh, not in Latin in your local church, but in your local language. Two years after Pope John died, the official effort to declare him a saint began. In 2000, Pope John Paul II beatified John, accepting as a miracle this Italian nun being cured of stomach disease. But Pope Francis has decided to canonize John without the customary required second miracle, citing instead the lasting influence of John's decision to call the Second Vatican Council. Clearly, uh, John the 23rd is in heaven, so I don't think it's a problem to do that. Like many Italian immigrants of their generation, my grandparents had tremendous affection for John the 23rd. This was one of their prized possessions, an apostolic blessing that John the 23rd sent to them in 1961. This hung in a place of honor in their home. I inherited this, and guys, it just seemed like the right thing to do to bring this to Rome for John's canonization. Maurice, Christine. Special moment. Yeah, it's like full circle there. Exactly. Tony, when do we expect Cardinal Dolan there? Uh, I believe he's at the airport as we speak, flying to Rome overnight. He'll be here Saturday morning. He's going to have an event uh, at the North American College, a seminary, right around noontime in New York. And then he will be in the square on Sunday, one of 700 priests joining Pope Francis for the canonization. Okay, right, Tony. Tony. Thanks so much. Witness to history. We'll look forward to more of Tony's reports and keep it right here on CBS 2 for continuing coverage of the rise to sainthood. Tony will have reports from Vatican City through Sunday.